the Mesozoic era broke for more than 180 million years of dinosaurs until their extinction 65 million years ago. About 50% of the planet's animal and plant life survived the Cretaceous tertiary mass extinction, also known as the KT boundary. Here are some of the animals whose ancestors walk or swam alongside dinosaurs. The Polypus is one of the few monotropies still in existence today. The egg-laying mammal was only recently discovered to have lived during the Jurassic period. After analyzing Tindalophus jawbone in 2008, University of Texas paleontologist Tim Rowe discovered that polypuses date back as far as 122 million years ago. Polypuses are one of only two mammalian species that lay eggs. Polypuses live only in eastern Australia and Tasmania. Reclosing the nocturnal echinas live all over Australia. People have called horseshoe crabs living fossils for years, but they are actually anthropods, similar to scorpions and spiders. Horseshoe crabs have evolved more slowly than other animals, but they become one of nature's most during organisms, having survived at least four, yes, four of the planet's big extinction events. Scientists are harvesting horseshoe crab blood to study its possible uses, such as decontaminating medical equipment and treating fungal infections and cancer. You can see them in the lower bay in late spring, when thousands of horseshoe crabs move to the shore to breed. The earliest marine turtles are told to have shown up during the Jurassic period and survived the global extinction because they develop a wide array of adapted survival techniques that allow them to survive bad times. For example, when it gets too cold, aquatic turtles naturally will hibernate. When it gets too hot or dry, aquatic turtles will estimate, dig themselves into mud holes and wait out the problem. These are tools that come in handy during regular times but apparently also during meteorite impacts. That's really helpful. Large green sea turtles are found in tropical and subtropical weathers across the globe. Here in Southern Carmen, they came once per year to lay their eggs. The world was full of dinosaurs 99 million years ago, but the cocodrillian animals were also abundant and some were huge. The Cretaceous period is full of giant crocs, including Sarcosicus, Dirosaurus, Deinosaurus, Shulcroc, and others. Casey Holliday of the University of Missouri told Discovery News there was likely ample food and warm climate facilitating their ability to reach large sizes. There are fossils of very large fish from the region. So, there were certainly large prey to catch as well. Crocodilians, including alligators, caimans, and crocodiles, live in more than 90 countries and island in tropical and subtropical regions. Bees are believed to have first appeared during the Cretaceous period. Around the same time, evolutionarily speaking, as the first flowering plants start to bloom. Give or take a few million years. Because there's a poor fossil record of bees, scientists have a hard time understanding how they cross the KT boundary. But a 2013 study of carpenter's bees suggests that bees also underwent a mass extinction at that time. The United States Geological Survey estimates that there are currently 20,000 bees around the world. Those animals are evolutionary survivors. A great example of nature's power. It's fascinating, don't you think?